and I'm a complete injury. I had a C6 break, um, and there's an Asia scale, an American Spinal Injury Association, and uh, it's A through D, and that's based on the level of sensation or function that you have below your break, wherever it is. Um, and another sort of more general designation for spinal cord injury is complete versus incomplete. And what that means is if you have a complete break or injury, then you don't have function and sensation at all below your injury level. If you have an incomplete break, then you do have function and sensation below your injury level. And I didn't know what any of that meant, of course. I mean, who, and and um, I didn't understand the ramifications of that diagnosis. And it's made with a Q-tip and a safety pin. So there, do you feel this? Is this sharp? Is this dull? And I mean, you just answer it. You know, you're kind of groggy. I mean, for the first four months, you know, you can't sit up without passing out. I mean, I, I'd be in rehab. And I'll, How are you doing, Ross? I'm doing fine. You look, your lips look kind of purple. Like, you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. You know, I'm, everything's spinning, you know, whatever. And, uh, and, and I get in the chair, you know, and you pass out. You wake up and you have all these cute nurses holding your legs in the air going, are you okay? You know, meet lots of wonderful people that way. They say, oh, well, let me check your blood pressure. Oh, 45 over 30. We need, we may need to put you. Um, so it is, a, it is sort of interesting. It takes a couple months for your system to sort of reacclimate. But you do meet a lot of nice people along the way as a result. But um, what I learned was in China, um, with complete injuries, because in the U.S., quite frankly, if you are a complete injury, uh, we don't do rehab. We teach you how to be disabled. That's our sort of standard of care in the U.S. Now, if you have a bunch of money, you know, and I, after my injury, for instance, where our rehab costs $1,500 a day, um, and you can do as much of that as you like, um, but uh, if you don't, um, then you're going to, and you do have a complete injury, uh, and hospital stays have gone from four to six months, like when James Shepard was injured, to six weeks. So they're really just kind of trying to stabilize you and, and after your emergency care, trying to sort of stabilize your system and then ship you off. In my case, my insurance company, which I remain nameless, um, and I had several, which I purchased four months before my injury. I thought that was a good investment. I'm sure they didn't. But, um, they took the, and I'm, I'm a great example, classic example of the uninsured. You know, I was 38 years old. I'm not an idiot. Um, I hope. Uh, just don't know how to ride a bicycle. But um, I, uh, I've been an uninsured for 15 years. Um, I, I went to Georgia Tech. I, went, I got my Wharton MBA. I've, gotten, I've studied at Oxford. I'm a Wall Street banker, Silicon Valley venture capitalist. I've had companies in different parts of the world. Why bother? But I, I was fortunate enough to get it four months before my accident. But my insurance company took the position that my injury was a pre-existing condition. <laughs> uh, because I had said, they said, do you have pre-existing conditions? And I checked hay fever and occasional lower back pain. So they took the position that my occasional lower back pain was a form of paralysis. So it, it took about seven months to get them to pay for anything. And that was a real lesson to me.